Do you not know how to prepare a simple cup of tea? I mean, surely, we have taught you better than that. Then again, I suppose, just looking in your direction is enough to make any man swoon. <laughs> I may not be the nicest person, but that doesn't mean I don't know how to compliment a beautiful woman like yourself from time to time. Hmm? You're very quiet. Which sparks some interest in me. Tell me, have you always been this quiet? Hmm. A nod. Hmm. Tell me something. Has your tongue been cut out? No. Then you can use your words to speak to me. Otherwise, I may just assume it has been cut out. <laughs> My goodness. Look at you. I should have known that your voice wouldn't have been barely above a whisper. Come here. I wish to hear the sound of that lovely voice that you have. Now, what did you say? Ah. You answered my question very well. Why don't you tell me about yourself, hmm? I mean, indeed. There are things that I don't know about you. No, dear, that's not what I'm talking about. I do not desire to know the place where you grew up, or even how you became my maid. I'm talking about the things I don't know. For example, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? <coughs> Why do I care? <laughs> Perhaps it's because I'm curious. That should be enough reason for you to tell me more. I'm listening. You may start now. <laughs> Do you truly take me for a patient man? But I suppose, judging by the way you're trembling like a scared little rabbit, I will be more patient with you. So, go on when you're ready. Hmm. Interesting. I never took you for one to be into doing such a thing. Then again, I have been wrong before when it comes to things like this. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen, unfortunately. Is everyone listening to a conversation making you nervous? Come now, be a good girl and use your words. I see. Then follow me. Where are we going? We are going to a place where we won't be disturbed. And you will feel comfortable. But please, do bring the tea. Because... It wasn't as bad as I had initially thought. Hopefully, this place is more suitable. Perfect. Now, please, do go on and speak. I quite enjoy the way your voice sounds. It's smooth, wholesome, and dare I say, it's pretty adorable. <laughs> You have been here long enough to know that I flirt with people. I only flirt with the ones that catch my eye. But I have to say, I enjoy your reactions. Dare I say, you may just be at the top of my list of people that I enjoy teasing. But if you keep giving me those adorable reactions, 
I may make you the only person I tease. <sighs> Hopefully, now you're able to relax. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I knew that you were as shy as you claim you are, I would have given you a more straightforward job. Maybe something a bit more away from people, if you understand. <coughs> I may be cold, but please, I'm not a monster. I won't make you do something that you aren't comfortable with. Surely you don't think of me that way, do you? Good. Now why don't you sit down and enjoy the tea with me? Because I asked? Drinking tea by oneself gets a bit lonesome, you know. And hopefully, you will be able to keep me company. If only it were just a few moments. <laughs> I think I like you. You are quite cute. And, oh, so obedient. It's adorable. Oh, yes. I'm being very serious. Just look at yourself in that adorable uniform that you're wearing. Part of me wants to tease you about it until it's on my bedroom floor. But of course, there's another part of me that desires to give you a more comfortable one. Did you really think I wouldn't notice how uncomfortable you are when you're walking around wearing that? Oh, please. I noticed it at the very first day you walked right through my large, magnificent door. The only thing that you need to do is simply tell me that it's uncomfortable so I can get another one prepared for you. So tell me, is it uncomfortable? It's alright. Why don't you be a good girl once more and use your words? Huh? Perfect! I'll have another dress prepared for you by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Maybe it's because I work fast? I mean, after all, when my words reach people's ears, it is done. Now, why don't you take a sip of the tea? Hmm? I did tell you that it wasn't as bad as I thought. Come on, take a sip. Perhaps I will have you prepare the tea from now on. I could get used to it. Don't you worry. Hmm. Well, I feel like we will get on rather nicely. What do you think? Do you agree? That's good. That's very good. 